ministers, we ask people to spread around, okay? Don't sit next to each other, okay? So don't come and fill the, uh, the uh, spaces and, and the lines, okay? So uh, this is not against anybody. This is, we're trying to follow the guidelines. Uh, we said last week that if we cannot do that, then we cannot have Juma prayer. So we hope that everybody complies. Shortly, all praises are due to Allah. We praise Him and seek His assistance and ask for His forgiveness. And we seek refuge in Allah from the evil of ourselves and the wickedness of our deeds. Verily, whomever Allah guides, there is none to lead him astray. And whomever Allah allows to go astray, there is none to guide him back except Allah. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. And Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is His messenger. Our topic today is about the reasons for divine testing with diseases and infections. These reasons are well known to believers that ponder and reflect. Reasons for tribulations and punishment have always been tied to disobedience of people to their creator. Disobedience and sins are the virus of the tribulation with infectious diseases. When they enter the body, they destroy it, impacting the hearts causing people to lose their faith and impacting bodies, causing weakness and diseases, leading to destruction and the humiliation of societies. This divine punishment reaches bodies, people, and countries. Allah revealed in Surah Al-Ankabut, verse 40, so we punished each of them for his sins. Against some, we sent a violent wind. Some were caught by a mighty blast some were caused the earth to swallow up, and some we, we drowned. It was not Allah who injured them, rather they injured their own soul. So the signs of the punishment on bodies and people are weakness and diseases and corruption of the hearts, while the signs of punishment on countries are destruction by, infection, by infectious diseases, earthquakes, floods, wind, and other natural disasters. Allah said in Surah Al-A'raf, verses 96 through 99, Allah said, if the people of the towns had but believed and feared Allah, we should indeed have opened out to them all kinds of blessings from heaven and earth. But they rejected the truth, and we brought them to account for their misdeeds. Did the people of the towns then feel secure against the coming of our punishment by night while they are asleep? Or did the people of the towns then feel secure against coming of our punishment in the forenoon while they were playing? Did they then feel secure against the plan of Allah? None feel secure from the plan of Allah except those who are doomed to ruin. Also Allah revealed in Surah Al-Jinn, verse 16, Allah said, if they had remained on the right path, we should certainly have bestowed on them rain in abundance. The consequences of sins also include removing the blessings so people, people's sustenance becomes scarce and their lifespans are shortened. Poverty becomes widespread and diseases and contagions increase. The Prophet ﷺ said, when immorality manifests among a group of people to such an extent that they commit it openly. Then plagues and diseases that were never known among their predecessors will spread among them. And if people cheat in weights and measures, then they will be stricken by famine, severe calamity, and the oppression of their rulers. And if they withhold the calf from their wealth, then rain will be withheld from the sky. And where if not, where it not for the animals, no rain would fall on them. And if they break their covenant with Allah and his messenger, then Allah will en enable their enemies to overpower them and take some of what in their hand. Unless their leaders, their leaders rule according to the book of Allah and seek all good that which Allah has revealed. Allah will cause them to fight one another. So we are witnessing viral diseases that, that exceeded the plague and their damage. These diseases 
took the blessings of, the, of knowledge to the point that scientists are puzzled so they cannot find the cure except the cure of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Wasallam that he recommended which is cleaning with water and quarantine. Imam al-Hasan al-Basri said an interpretation of verse 30 of Surah Al-Shura, uh, Allah said, and whatever of affliction befalls, befalls you is owing to that which your hands have earned. And have, and he forgives much. He said that when, the, when, these, when this verse was revealed, the Prophet said by Allah, everything a person experiences from a scratch or pain or a stumble, all were caused by a sin the person committed, and Allah forgives much. Dear brothers and sisters, the consequence of sins is certainly that the righteous is, is a certainty, and the righteous of the followers of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam realized and acknowledged it. So they attributed every calamity or catastrophe to people's sin. Imran ibn Hussain was visited, visited by some of his friends, and he was sick. So some of them told him, we feel sorry for what happened to you. So he responded, do not feel sorry for me, for what, what you see, because this is because of a sin that I have committed. And Allah forgives much more. Then he recited the verse, and whomever, and whatever of affliction befalls you, is owning to, what, to that which your hands has earned, and he forgives much. Allah humbled with this disease everyone and every nation that thought they possess unmatched power and others that do not believe in Allah or do not believe that Allah is almighty. So we see one of the Italian leaders said that we did all what we could do and the only thing left up to heaven is left up to heaven. While President Trump called for a national day of prayer Similarly, everyone is asking for help from the Lord that they did not believe, believe in him uh, before this tribulation. So as believers, we should not be deceived by the rhetoric of the disbelievers and the glitter of this life. Instead, we need to hold steadfast on the truth and hold tight to the teachings of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi because we see fear and humiliation in the hearts of the ones that declare proudly that nobody is stronger than them. And they wrap, signs, they, they wrap sins with glamour. Allah revealed in Surah Fussilat, He said, as for Ad, they were arrogant in the land without right. And they said, who is mightier than us in power? Could they not see that Allah who created them he was, he was mightier than them in power, and they declined our revelations. Therefore, we let loose on them a, ra a raging wind and evil days. Al-Hasan al-Basri said about such people that even if the disbelievers uh, rides like, uh, like horses or, uh, or mules are fast. So even if you witness that, they have good quality uh, rides and and they're adorned with belts still their hearts are filled with humiliation of the sins and it is Allah will, it is Allah that will humiliate the ones that disobey him dear brothers and sisters we learned that when people disobey Allah and do not repent from their sins then they bring Allah's wrath upon themselves so what is the path forward to be saved from this tribulation? The answer is to repent to Allah and to ask for his forgiveness and to adhere to, adhere to Allah's commandments and to continually ask Allah to save us and to lift up this calamity. And we conclude with a supplication of Ali asking for forgiveness. Ali said, O oh Lord, forgive my sins that bring down your wrath and the sins that bring reproach, and the sins that prevent the fulfillment of my oath, and the sins that change the blessings, and the sins that bring down calamities, and prevent the coming of the rain, and hastens destruction, and prevents 
prayers from being answered and forgive my sins that caused my hidden sins to become public. Assalamu alaikum.